The Rowan University football team enters the fall knowing the past few seasons have not lived up to the tradition of profs football. We'll help Rowan in 2019 as their depth at every position. The coaches will have a good influx of talent to spread throughout and will not have to rely on one or two guys and have them break down later in the season. That's probably why we've struggled a little bit the last couple of years because we've probably did it with players that just were not ready to play at the level that we expect them to play at. The nice part is because we have that experience now, you know, we're going to enjoy the fruits of, of those sufferings that we did the last couple of years. The senior leadership is strong on both sides of the ball with preseason All-Americans Elijah Rem and David Gatorowicz setting the tone for the fall. Both guys are explosive and can change the momentum of a game in one play. Rem will be the Prof's primary kick and punt returner as he is coming off a record-breaking season. Gatorowicz is a rhino on the defensive line as he led the NJAC with 11 and a half sacks in 2018. You know, it's funny. As players leave like Kevin Stokes last year, and you're like, how are we going to replace Kevin Stokes? You know, and then you, have, you get Gator, you know, and then you're thinking, how are we going to replace Gator? And then you see Sonny Tapp and then the, the freshman Ahmad Gant. And you're like, wow, we just seem to attract those dynamic defensive ends, which we always have. Sonny Tapp, Amon Gant, and Eddie Hamilton will be three big defensive linemen who look to collapse the pocket. The linebackers are young and the least experienced position on the defense, but has senior Anthony LaRosa and junior Tim Hutchinson who will get major reps and build the linebackers' confidence on the field. Defensive backs will be strong group with Cameron Kennedy, Malachi Winters, and Calvin Harper, are returning to improve on Roan's past defense from last year. Again, there will be a lot of bodies filtering in and out at safety, so look for Jared Wright and freshman Manny Peltzer and Jaden Cornish to get time on the field as well. The starting quarterback role has been a fight with five players vying for that role. Nick Cousy and transfer Mike Husney look to be the top two at that spot with three others fighting for position. Cousy has the most experience at the quarterback slot playing in seven games last year. So it's been competitive. Every session has been competitive at that spot. Every throw has been competitive at that spot. And again, the more you have competition, the more it m takes more out of people to excel at a higher level. Um, and, and I'm comfortable where we're at. I think we can win with both. Messiah Devine and Carlton Coleman will head up the running back positions as both bring different styles to the backfield. The two will also have some key roles in special teams as well. Cody Madden will reprise his role as tight end for the Profs offense as he came into his own last year hauling in 236 yards and two touchdowns. C.J. Barrett will also spend time at the tight end position. There's a lot of strong wide receivers on this year's roster with Rem being the main. But of course he also has the likes of senior Nick Rosso and Brian Batts who will be weapons downfield as well. Probably two of the hardest workers on the team. Um, they're not the fastest, they're not the strongest. They're not the most athletic, but they get most out of their ability and play at a really high level because they work just so hard. John Maldonado will take on a bigger role as wide out this fall, as will Abu Kai Kai. The O-line is young and will have to come up big early on to protect the QB and open up holes in the run game. Jake Stillings and Pat McGowan are the leaders on the line with Matt Melamed, Con O'Hara, Mike Klein, and Scott Dumscombe sealing up the gaps. Kicking has seen many changes over the years as well for the brown and gold, which has ramped up competition in 2019. Alex Boyko and Anthony Tagano are the returners, but incomers Sean Carey, Jake Hurler, and Tom Brennan have been in the mix heading into the prof season open on September 7th. They know how to practice together. They push each other. I think they're doing a really good job. I think we're ahead of where we've been the last couple of years. You know, we're not going to know until the games start, but I, I, I like our progress. I like the team chemistry. I like the competition at a lot of different positions. We just haven't had that the last couple of years because we were so young, and I, I think it's really just kind of elevated everybody. Widener comes to town on September 7th in the annual Battle of the Bridge, a game which Roan won in double overtime last season. Kickoff is 6 p.m. with fireworks afterwards. Linfield pays a visit on September 14th at 2 p.m. before Rowan opens NJAC play at Wesley on October 5th. Homecoming is October 12th as the Profs take on the Cougars of Kane.